I'm Ashley from the Joyfully Growing blog and today's video is all about how to hang things on RV walls. This is a frequently asked question. We get it all of the time, especially when I share photos over on the blog or Instagram of our fifth wheel that we renovated as well as the last RV. It's always DMs rolling in. How do you hang things on walls? How do you put things up without putting holes in the walls? How do you put holes in the walls without damaging the walls? So today we are covering all of those questions. Um, we have a couple different options for each one without putting holes in the wall and actually putting holes in the wall the right way, the safe way without you know, drilling a hole all the way through your RV wall to the outside. So you just want to hang a picture or something really light just for decorative purposes up on the wall, just for something that you can swap in and out without putting any holes in the walls. I like to use command strips. There's a couple different options um, that I found work best in RVs and let me show them to you. So the first option for hanging something up on the wall um, without putting a hole in the wall is your standard traditional command strip. It comes with the little adhesive backing that you put right on the wall and then you can use the different sizes of little hooks. This works great for photo frames, um, macrame wall hangings, things that are a little bit lighter. They're not going to rip off the wall. Um, something that's easily removable when you're traveling down the road. You can take the item off the wall. These are nice because they don't damage the wall. You pull this tab when you're ready to get the hook off of the wall and it won't damage or leave any adhesive on the wall. So these are great. The other option that I really like though for RVs especially is using the Velcro option of command strips. So these just come in little strips like this and then you Velcro them together. Uh, they're really, really strong once you put them on. So these are a really great option for a little bit heavier items, maybe like mirrors, um, a heavier piece of art or frame that you wanna buy. Also use these on like open shelving. So if you, this is kind of a side note, quick tip, but if you have decor on an open shelf and you're gonna leave it there um, and you don't wanna have that as part of your routine to take off the shelf to travel down the road, get in travel mode, um, I like to use these. So you can just put them right on the shelf, put the other edge on your decor item, say it's a vase or you know, a pot or something. You can put that underneath and then you Velcro it right onto the shelf. It's not going anywhere, um, even when you're bumping down the road and these work really great. So I like using these, especially for mirrors or breakable items that I don't wanna have to take on and off the wall when we're traveling. So command strips are the way to go if you don't want holes in your walls. However, don't be intimidated by putting actual holes in the walls and using screws. Let's say you wanna mount something like curtains. We have lots of window coverings. We replace all the window coverings in this RV as well as our last RV. Curtain rods, heavier items, shelves, things like that that you're actually wanting to mount on the wall to be a little bit more permanent. That's where you're gonna want to actually put the hole in the wall, use the screw, and there's a safe way to do it, especially with these thin RV walls. So I'm gonna kick it over to Mike and he is gonna show you exactly what we do. The answer is actually pretty simple. There's basically two methods. You can either locate a stud inside of the wall and fasten directly to that, or um, if there's not a stud in the area where you want to mount, you can use a uh, anchor, which is similar to how you would mount something in a regular house with sheetrock. So I like to use these, they're called hollow door anchors. As the name implies, they're designed to be installed in hollow doors, which is essentially a really thin sheet of plywood on the outside. So RV wall panels being really similar, they tend to work pretty good in there. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the actual installation of the anchor is really pretty easy. You can either do it with a drill like I'm choosing to do here, or you can do it with just a screwdriver will work too. Um, there's nothing fancy about it. You just screw it right into the wall. Uh, you want to make sure and get it all the way in there, but of course you don't want to go too far and strip it out. Once you have the anchor fastened securely into the wall, then you can use the screw that comes in the packaging and use that to fasten whatever it is that you're trying to hang. If the anchor will not go into the wall, it's probably because there's either a stud there or a backer plate. This does happen occasionally and it's no big deal. All you need to do is use a drill bit to drill through the metal and then either use a sheet metal screw or a wood screw like this. In that case, you don't need an anchor, you just use the screw only for your mounting. So this Easy Anchor brand says that it's rated for uh, 40 pounds. 
which I think that's more of a residential type application. It doesn't really take into account the fact that you're going to be running down the road, going over bumps and stuff like that. So I would probably cut that maybe in half or so, maybe a little bit less just to be safe. Um, but it's, you know, they're, they're relatively strong. They work well, especially if you're just using something pretty light. If you want to mount something a little bit on the heavier side, you're probably going to want to locate one of the studs inside of the wall. How RVs are built, they're typically either wood framed or aluminum framed. Um, these days, aluminum framing is a lot more common. So, um, there's probably a pretty good chance you have aluminum framing. What I like to do is once I've located a stud, I will use just the regular drill bit and pre-drill the metal, and then you can just um, drill right into the stud with a sheet metal screw. The wood part of the wall panel is only about a quarter of an inch thick, and then the aluminum framing is going to be pretty thin also. Um, it's going to be thinner than a quarter of an inch. So really you don't need a very long sheet metal screw depending on what you're trying to fasten. You know, you maybe uh, a half inch, three quarter inch, one inch will work depending on how far it needs to stick out of the wall. What you want to be really careful of is the entire wall system from the in the interior panel and the frame and the fiberglass on the outside of the wall is typically only about two and a half inches thick. So what you want to be really careful of is that you don't use too long of a screw and end up uh, going all the way through the wall and have your screw be poking out to the outside. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. All right, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful RV content. If you guys have any good RV video ideas, we'd love to hear them down in the comments below.